Okay, so we're looking at uh, multiples, flowers, and cards, Bridges Math, fourth grade. And this first page, I think at this point, most of this stuff you can do on your own. Um, the first thing we're talking about here is multiples. And this gives you some explanations. So multiples of five include 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, just like skip counting. <clears throat> so for A, B, and C, just fill in the numbers that would be multiples. Then uh, circle the multiples for the second part. <clears throat> so for example, uh, A, 2, basically even numbers would be multiples of 2. So <clears throat> 5 is not going to work, but 6 would be a multiple of 2. 7, no, 8, and keep going. Which of those are multiples of 2? <clears throat> Same thing, 7, 22, no, 77, no, 21, yes. If 7 times something is that number, then it's a multiple. And again, <clears throat> I think part 3 you can do on your own. Um, one thing I would mention, though, for this bottom part is look what's happening uh, with these factors. You'll notice that <clears throat> these are all... 6, so 6 is there, but then if you look at these numbers, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, it's doubling. So be aware, most of you probably know 6 times 2 is 12, but since <clears throat> 6 is staying the same and the factors are doubling, you can just keep doubling this number and solve all of these that way. So just learn about the patterns you see here as you do the um, math facts. And then <clears throat> we've got a couple of problems, and these are kind of two-step problems, or at least this first one is. So you have to kind of read it carefully and make sure you understand what's happening. So there's four friends making cards. So I'm going to draw a picture to help me figure it out. And each friend made nine cards. So these four friends each had nine cards, and figure out how many cards they made all together. So you can multiply that and you're going to find out they made 36 cards all together. <clears throat> but then they put all their cards together, so we figured out how many there are, and bundled them into groups of six. So basically, you need to split 36 into six. So if you were to have six, <clears throat> split 36 into six, how many would be in each box? You need to do 36 divided by 6. And if you're uh, working on equations, what would you, you would have uh, 9 times 4 divided by <coughs> 6 is equal to what? That's what we did, right? So you can figure out the rest of it on your own. Then we have the challenge here uh, of a garden at a park. The longer sides each measured 15 feet and were three times longer than the shorter times, shorter sides. Okay, so let's make a garden first. And the longer sides each measured 15 feet. And in a rectangle, that's going to be the same, right? Now, these are three times longer than the shorter sides. So these sides here are going to be basically 15 divided by 3 to figure out how long the shorter sides are. Okay, and then Zach walked all around the garden. So Zach maybe started um, here and he walked 15 feet. And then he walked this <coughs> and this and this. How far did he walk? And if you do it in that order, you're going to basically, I'm not giving you the answer, but <clears throat> this number will go in there. So how far did he walk? Uh, and that is it for this homework. And thank you for watching. And goodbye.